Mary had a little lamb, its fleece as white as snow. To build your baby's language skills, Mother Goose is the way to go. Hi, I'm Debbie, and this is Buddy Bear. Sharing nursery rhymes with your baby is not only a wonderful way for the two of you to bond, but it introduces your child to early literacy concepts essential for future academic success. The rhyme, rhythm, and alliteration in nursery rhymes helps listeners hear the sounds and syllables in words. This emphasis on sounds helps children build their listening skills and vocabulary, pronounce words clearly, and develop phonological awareness necessary for reading and spelling. Research shows that children who are familiar with nursery rhymes by the age of three find it easier to learn to read when the time comes. Fortunately, adding nursery rhymes to your baby's day doesn't take much time or many materials. Chances are you already have many of them memorized, but you will remember to say them more often if you have visual reminders. It's nice to own, or borrow from the library, a collection of children's rhymes, whether they be traditional mother goose rhymes, more modern rhymes, or rhymes from another culture. You can also get books devoted only to one rhyme. Um, small board books such as these are especially helpful for, to use with babies because you can leave them out um, where you will see them and take them with you on the go. The internet is a great source for looking up nursery rhymes and for even printing out illustrated pages of them. Just go to Pinterest or any internet search engine and type in nursery rhyme printables free. That's how I found these rhymes. I printed multiple pages on one sheet of paper and then um, printed them out and laminated them and um, connected them with a book ring. I also um, used this photo cube to make a nursery rhyme block out of the same free printables. Of course, you don't have to be this fancy. You could simply print uh, out the nursery rhymes and keep them somewhere handy. There are also numerous nursery rhyme CDs and um, videos, but I encourage you to recite them yourself as much as you can. Your baby will benefit from the interaction and you can incorporate movement into it. Clapping, bouncing, rocking, tickling, and other actions stimulate your baby's nervous system and allow them to feel as well as hear the rhythm of the words. Here are some actions for Humpty Dumpty. Normally I do this sitting on the floor so that all I have to do is bend my knees to get baby to pop up, but since I'm on a bench today, I will just raise baby up on one knee. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Once you've done this a few times, your child will know what's coming and eagerly await the tickles and the fall. Consider building rhyme time into parts of your daily routine or times of waiting. Just a few playful minutes a day is all it takes to give your baby a significant advantage when it comes to learning to read and spell. I'll see you next time.